Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to share some uh, very cute Easter DIY crafts. Let's go ahead and get started. DIY number one. For this project, I'm going to be using this uh, rope that looks like nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. And um, I'm cutting off the uh, beginning and putting a little bit of hot glue. And then I'm going to start uh, wrapping it, actually coiling it, um, using a little bit of hot glue here and there just to keep it secured. For this, you can use really any rope that you have. Um, this is just idea that I, um, I got and also just the rope that I had on hand. Now that the um, circle is the size that I want, I'm going to start creating ears from the same rope. So I just continued pretty much. And then I glued um, in the middle and then I'm creating another ear. And after that, I am glu gluing um, the rest of the rope and securing it, securing it in the back with the hot glue just to make it uh, look nice and seamless. Okay, next I'm going to be using one of these um, round canvases. They are from Michaels, I believe. And um, I'm going to be using one of these uh, peel and stick um, vinyls. They, they came from uh, Target Dollar Spot and I had it for a few years now. Um, I'm going to trace it around and uh, cut out the shape. After that, I'm just going to go ahead and glue. Of course, if you don't have a uh, vinyl, you can use any um, craft paper that you want and Mod Podge and it's going to do the same thing. Okay, now I'm going to um, put the hot glue on the back of the bunny's head and or actually bunny and then I am going to hot glue it down to this um, circle. Also hot gluing a little bit of ears to keep it in place. After that, I'm using the greenery that I um, had on hand, but um, you can use anything that you want. You can uh, create just a bunny tail on the back of it, or you can use uh, flowers, really anything that you want. This is the idea that I had. So I put the greenery on both sides. And after that, I'm going to be using one of the flowers. Uh, they're solarwood solo flowers. And I know Dollar Tree sell some as well. I had the small one, uh, blue one, and I cut off the um, back backing to make it nice and smooth and I hot glued it right in the middle. Now it looked really plain so I decided to use the same nautical rope um, and um, glue it around the perimeter. So I am starting in the back um, just to make it look seamless and then I'm going to go all the way around uh, gluing it nice and tightly and I just made sure that there's no uh, glue seeping through so I was going very very slow. Okay, after I was uh, done with the whole loop, I'm just adding um, the extra rope to create a handle. After that, this project is completed. I think it looks so cute, a perfect, uh, cute little um, idea for Easter. Tell me what you think. This video is part of the Easter collab uh, hosted by my dear friend Liana over at Liana DIY and a guest host for this month is Maria over at Crafting with Maria. We have um, three other friends uh, beside me that are joining. They are Amber from DIY with Amber, Emily over at Farm Charm Chic and Lori over at Lori Bly DIY. I'm going to have a link in the description box for all these wonderful ladies so you can go ahead and check out their channels and check out the creations, um, Easter creations they wanted to share with you guys. They're all super talented and I am sure they're going to have wonderful um, ideas that you might like. DIY number two. For this project, I'm using aluminum foil and I'm going to start wrapping it in the shape of carrot. So I was just adding more wherever I uh, saw it and needed to be added just to create a shape that um, I liked. Now at the beginning, I really created a long one. <laughs> I'm going to cut it off a little bit later. You will see, but really you can create any size that you want. Now uh, that I created um, the shape, I'm going to be using this um, tape from the Dollar Tree and wrap it all the way around. That way I'll be able to uh, glue um, the rope around it because glue will not stick as you know to the foil.
Okay, now I'm going to be using this uh, rope that I actually got a long time ago from uh, Hobby Lobby. You probably see me using it several times. And this one is flat on one side. On, uh, it's flat on both sides, so it's not round. So I just had to make sure uh, to lay it flat. But I started from the top, uh, coiling it again until I came to the edges. And then I started just wrapping it around the carrot. Halfway through, you can see it's smaller now. I decided that's just too big for me to wrap it around so i decided to cut it off and i think it turned out actually perfect and i really really like the imperfections on it it looks like a real carrot um, so now i'm going to add the same greenery that i used earlier just to keep it with a theme um, on the top and honestly that's going to be it for this project i think it's so super cute simple just a great addition to any shelf or bowl or on top of the book like i put over here tell me what you think about this one Okay, DIY number three. For this project, I'm going to be using these mini frames that also came from Target Dollar Spot several, several years back, and I'm going to be using only one. Um, I also am using these wooden eggs and a wooden bunny that came from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to paint all of them different colors. So here they are. Um, the bunny is white, but I don't know why it's not um, visible over here. Uh, I'm going to hot glue these... Um, shapes on the bottom of this frame and after that i'm going to be using my cricut uh, to cut out happy easter and put it on the top above the figures if you don't have a cutting machine you can use um you know any kind of stencil or any kind of stickers from the dollar tree i'm sure they have a bunch bunch that you can use or just uh, letters and spell it out after that that's it for this project super easy cute and um inexpensive. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We're so happy you're here. On our channel, you can find a lot of budget-friendly DIYs, decor ideas, thrift flips, and some home improvement DIYs. Um, if something like that interests you, please stick around, um, click that subscribe button, you will even it will mean a lot to us. Also, don't forget the not notification bell on. That way you will not miss out on any of our new updates and new videos. Also, like this video. Um, it will help us promote our video on YouTube. If you're new, please uh, introduce yourselves in the comments. We would love to get to know you. DIY number four. For this project, I'm going to be using this wooden oval. I believe it came from the Dollar Tree, but you can find this anywhere, Walmart or anywhere like that. It was very inexpensive and I already had it pre-painted from the previous project. Also, this uh, letter shape uh, that kind of looks like a carrot, it came from um, Hobby Lobby. It was in a clearance for $1.24 and I used a little bit of jute twine to wrap it around the top portion. I'm using the same greenery that, that I used earlier. I'm gluing it um, on the oval wooden part and I'm gonna um, add this part of the cork just to raise the carrot a little bit and then I am going to um, glue that on the board and then glue it on um, glue the carrot on top after that I'm using um, a little bit more of the jute twine and I am going to create the hanging part so I'm pulling it from the back to the front and I'm wrapping it several times around itself and securing with a hot glue in the back. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing with the other one, and that's gonna be it for this super, super simple project. All the projects in this video are very simple, uh, very quick to make, and I think they're cute. So I wanna hear from you guys, what do you think about this project as well as the other projects that I created in this video. The next DIY you're going to see is one of my old DIYs, but you guys liked it, so I wanted to include it. I took two different sizes of uh, wood rounds, then a uh, wire jute twine from the Dollar Tree, and just one piece of wire that I had uh, on hand. Now I'm going to hot glue the smaller piece right on top of the larger piece with the hot glue and overlapping it a little bit. Then I'm going to take um, two pieces of this wire jute twine um, that are going to represent e uh, ears of this bunny and I'm going to just hot glue it in the back. Now when you're using this uh, wire jute twine make sure to just put a little dab of hot glue at the end where you cut it off because it does unravel. 
now that I have these uh, ears completed, I'm going to go ahead and um, get the wire. I'm going to cut it in three pieces. And then after that, I will take the longest piece and I will start wrapping it in the middle where these uh, pieces meet. You'll see in just a second what I did. So I just took the larger one and started wrapping it in the middle. So the ends are still sticking out. That way all these are, um, you know, stuck together. And I have three pieces of whiskers on each side. And this is how it looks like. I know it's harder to explain, but it's easier to see. So this is exactly what I did. I positioned the whiskers the way they're supposed to look like or the way I think they look good. And I'm going to just hot glue it right in, in a spot where the, um, they're supposed to go. <laughs> And that's it for this product. I told you this one was super easy, but I think it's such a cute project even to do with your kids, but also just a beautiful, natural, rustic um, Easter decor. As always, please um, let me know in the comments down below which one of these was your favorite and would you recreate any of these? Also, don't forget to check out the playlist in my description box for some more great ideas. Thank you so much for being here and we'll see you in our next video. Bye, guys.